And someone else wrote, in the year 2012, we will have three Friday the 13th, and they will be exactly 13 weeks apart, Lauren. And one last thing, it's not a trending topic, but today is National Kiss Day. So, to Friday the 13th on your trending topics. Uh, thanks for the kiss, Jen. I like my daughter's favorite line from, it's actually from The Office, which says, Friday the 13th, I'm not superstitious, I'm just a little suspicious. No, suspicious. Never mind. Fox 5 News at 6 starts right now. Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. Brace yourself, a powerful storm slams San Diego. Lightning strikes and more than 2,000 people are without power across the county. We're also getting video of water spouts forming off our coast. This video sent to us from a viewer, Gabe Gonzalez. He shot this in San Clemente just this afternoon. Yes, there's a look at the mountains. Winter storm warning up through 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, about 4,000 feet. That includes Julian up through Palomar Mountain, Mount Laguna. We'll talk winds as well coming up and let you know how long this is and will last coming up. Kathleen. All right, and those windy conditions already interfering with some of our live pictures tonight we're bringing you. Well, it's not just thunder that's making noise today. Hundreds of San Diegans heard and felt a mysterious boom this morning. Fox 5's Heather Ford is live at Crown Point to explain exactly what that was. Heather. <laughs> well, Kathleen, we don't have many answers. We do know what it wasn't. But before we get to that, I want to take a look, a live look outside. We're here at Crown Point where, wow, what a difference an hour makes because the sun is trying to crack a little bit. I know we're probably just in between storms because as you can take a look behind me, it does look just ominous out there at Crown Point on the, the bay here. But there are some people out here uh, getting their workout in, getting a little bit of a break and uh, starting their week on weekend off right. So and talking about starting off their weekend, and there was a lot of people this morning who were saying we heard that weird sonic boom, but what was it? We still have more questions and answers, but go ahead and take a listen to what we found out. It was just like a sonic boom. It felt like someone shut the door, slammed the door real hard. Yeah. Or like someone's walking, like, uh, you know, pounding their feet, that sort of thing. The vibrate, the windows shook a little. Mm -hmm. Almost like an earthquake, but... Uh, the ground didn't shake. The mysterious shake and sound has people curious and looking for answers. On the Fox 5 Twitter and Facebook page, dozens of San Diego residents are begging the question, was that an earthquake or did anyone else feel it? Several talks with local experts and there's still no exact explanation for what happened around 8.40 Friday morning. To check off the list, it's not an earthquake. According to geology professor Dr. Pat Abbott, there was no seismic activity near San Diego this morning. And it's not thunder. Meteorologists report lightning near the L.A. and Orange County areas, but not close enough to account for thunder here at home. And after talking to Marine and Navy officials, they say business and training are as usual. Nothing is out of the ordinary. But let's remember, their usual business can be rather loud. Another possible coincidence was discovered by folks at the National Weather Service. Sometimes, occasionally, the, mil the military will uh, put some substances into the atmosphere that are detected by our radar, our weather surveillance radar. It's a substance that's called chaff. The chaffs do look similar to the oncoming storm system, but they're actually an indication of an aircraft. We replayed the radar images from 8.40 a.m. Turns out several of those chaffs or planes were near the San Diego and Baja areas. Depending on how low and how fast, the planes could have created that sonic boom. And another possible prediction from Dr. Pat Abbott, this is a rare occurrence and these booms have happened maybe once a year, could possibly be a meteorite entering the atmosphere, making a, a weird noise. So Kathleen, there's so many different possibilities. I know it being Friday the 13th, a lot of people who have, uh, who are superstitious, maybe making their own predictions, but who knows anything that, uh, did you hear it at your home? This morning, I around 840? could not have been woken up with a 747 this morning. <laughs> I was so tired. So I heard nothing. <laughs> I, I I've heard from many people. You know, I've heard from many people. It just tore, heard like it sounded like the door was slamming or something like that. And so, uh, you know, that I didn't hear it. Uh, a couple of people in the newsroom here, and we've had plenty of callers. So it's it's a, the talk of the town right now. It most certainly is. <laughs> and we're also going to uh, allow it to be the subject of our e-poll and see if we come up with any more answers there. Heather Ford tonight. Thank you for that.
that. So what about you out there? Did you hear or feel this mystery boom this morning? Let us know on fox5sandiego.com and help us get to the bottom of this mystery. You feel it. There was a mysterious boom felt around the county this morning, shaking windows, and of course, it has a lot of people talking. It happened before 8.30, and it didn't take long for the comments to start filling up our NBC San Diego Facebook page. Of course, people were asking if there was an earthquake and leaving comments about what they felt and heard. So now the big question is, what was it? San Diego State Professor Emeritus Pat Abbott is here to try to explain. Now, you and I were just talking. You said you felt it this well, morning. Yeah. What, what was your first reaction as to what it may be? Well, my first reaction is I looked through the ground. I looked at the chandelier in the house to see if it's the ground that's moving and no, no action there. Something happened in the atmosphere. Then I go outside in case I can see something. I can't. But then you, it was so widespread throughout, something happened in the atmosphere that was, you know, uh, distributed widely. Um, so, what, I guess, how does that make the, what people felt, you know, like the shaking and the rattling with, with the um, windows? Well, it's just, it's that boom, you know, when, when, an earthquake will do that too. It'll make your house and your, uh, shake and your window shake and all of that. But it makes everything shake, where something in the atmosphere doesn't affect the ground or the, or the other parts. So this, this is uh, the kind of a thing, maybe this weather system coming, maybe putting a little bit of a lid to help something hit, noise hit it and reflect down. Most likely it's, it's a fleet, a squad of planes flying by, and there was that collective uh, sonic boom you know, channeled to us. We get one of these kinds of big, widespread, mysterious booms, maybe once a year or so, and, and that's something happened in the atmosphere, the most liable thing, likely, is a fleet of planes. A fleet of planes. Now, can you tell me how would this have been different if it were an earthquake? I haven't experienced an earthquake, so, but I'm sure most people here know well, the difference. Well, we'll, we'll arrange one for you here pretty <laughs> soon here. But, but you know, uh, earth, with earthquakes, you, know, you can hear earthquakes if you are near the epicenter. For people who have been in San Diego a long time, like say the mid-1980s, they'll remember the falls going across Coronado and Silver Strand moved in some magnitude 4 earthquakes. And the, the P waves, they move like this, like slinky toys, they're sound waves. So for those, when you're right on the epicenter, those P waves will come out of the ground and you literally get to hear the earthquake, if you're right over the epicenter. But we didn't have an earthquake underneath San Diego this morning, right. so that wasn't the cause. All right, well, thank you so much for filling us in on, on what it may be. We appreciate you being here. And now we're going to turn things over to Jody. And Jody, you kind of have, uh, I guess, the same suspicions of what this may have been, too, when it came to the military planes and stuff, right? Absolutely. Well, he brought up, you know, it could be a flight pattern. Let's talk about real quick what it wasn't, okay? When we heard of the boom, instantly I thought thunder and lightning are in our forecast, but I didn't expect there to be any so soon if it was. So what I did was I rewound my radar to before 9 o'clock when we started hearing reports of this sound, and the nearest rain was well offshore. In fact, I put the measurement on it, and it was 26 miles offshore. There was no thunder or lightning associated with this, and even if there had been, the sound waves and the feel would not have made it to us. It only traveled about 10 miles. So we know it wasn't thunder and lightning, but as Professor Abbott brought up, could it have been a flight pattern? Well, let's talk about military chaff. You may or may not have heard of this. Now, chaff is something that the aircraft are equipped with. It, it's a spray that they put out in the atmosphere to confuse ground radars. It's a protection uh, to against, say, the radar-guided missiles, okay? So when they're flying these tests, patterns, they'll tap the sky, and it shows up on radars. Now, I was looking at my radar and wondering, could it have been a flight pattern? Well, here's what happened. I called the National Weather Service, and something interesting here, they confirmed that this right here, this and this, are not rain. That was not rain on our radar. So this is not rain. What is it? Could it have been chaff? Well, we may never know. But as a meteorologist, I know that bugs and birds can also cause it. I don't think that was it because it's sort of in a straight line. So that leads me to believe that it could have been a flight pattern. Like I said, we may never know. And I don't know. So did you feel it? Shortly after 8.30 this morning, something in San Diego caught the attention of a lot of people. There was that mysterious boom of some sort strong enough to rattle windows. Yeah, you could tell it. people were feeling it because our Facebook page really lit up with a bunch of comments describing what people experienced, asking, hey, what happened? Well, here's what we know. The National Weather Service says today's storm had not arrived yet, so it was not thunder. And MCAS Miramar says its military jets did not cause it. So what was it? We spoke. <laughs> to Pat Abbott today, geology professor emeritus at San Diego State. He felt the boom too. It wasn't an earthquake. He says whatever it was, it came from the atmosphere. He blamed it on that. Yeah, well, it sounds good. He tells us there's one way to tell for sure whether you're feeling a sonic boom or an earthquake.
fun thing to do at home is don't look at the windows, don't look at the things that are going to shake no matter what, and look at the things that would only move if the ground is moving. For me, if I have a chandelier on a long chain, the sonic boom is not going to move that, but if that starts swaying, see there's something attached to the ground. So look to the ground, look for something that will move with the ground that you can see moving, and then you'll know. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we still don't know. Yeah, exactly what it's kind theories. of nice that we don't know everything that is <laughs> mysterious think? in terms Except of for the scientific <laughs> <laughs> yes well I, I i know that uh we've been dealing a lot with some military activity in terms mm -hmm. of chaff anyway and that's something that i experienced for the first time yesterday that was a whole lot of fun and that's where the military just basically dumps uh some of the the, the tiny particles of plastic or mylar um or metal mylar into the atmosphere and basically they do this when we do already have weather in the area because it's it's been around since as long as uh radar has been been around because that's the shot from yesterday's six o'clock show. What they do is try to confuse ground-based Doppler radar systems, and as Mark put it so kindly, ground-based meteorologists. And yes, ladies and gentlemen of the armed forces, it worked well. That's a shot of the mylar. That's a shot of the chaff, again, moving through the atmosphere yesterday. As you can see, a very distinctly different pattern from when a storm system would move through. Uh, I think we're going to take a look at the uh, weather that's going through right now. Look at this radar. We still have a lot of banding of red and orange moving through. That's all coming our way. And I want to show you already the winter that's arrived at Big Bear. So you're seeing some of that snow and uh, sleet being deposited there uh, along uh, uh, that range, the San Bernardino range, heading down into San Diego County. Start Starting to see that now in Campo and Julian, yeah, expect some of that through the overnight hours. The snow levels are dropping through this evening.